You're saying if you're not a woman, then you shouldn't have an opinion. Who does a guy get a right to say what a woman is? Women only know what women are. Are you a uh, cat? No. Can you tell me what a cat is? <laughs> this is actually a genuine mistake. I am sorry I even came up here. Do you want to tell us what a woman is? You know what? I'm not sure that we should continue with this interview because it seems like it's well, going in a particular direction. So, you know what? I think this interview is over. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think this interview is over. I just had one last question. Uh, what, well, I, I, I what, the interview is over. Please we want to know what what is a woman. Please turn off the cameras. Please. So I watched the Daily Wire documentary called "What Is a Woman" by Matt Walsh. If you haven't watched it yet, I highly suggest you do. In this video, I just want to talk about the movie and give you some of my thoughts. Now, this documentary is all about Matt trying to get an answer to a very simple question. What is a woman? The entire documentary should have just been this. What is a woman? An adult human female. Who needs help opening this? And there it is. A correct answer to a very simple question. But of course, where would the fun be in that? We live in a world where leftists tell you that gender is fluid and that you are what you feel you are. There is no objective truth. If you think you're a woman even though you were born with male genitalia, then you must be a woman. If you think you're another species entirely, well then by golly it must be true. Therefore, these delusional leftists cannot even answer a simple question, what is a woman? The first half of this movie is pretty funny. It's mostly Matt Walsh asking different people about gender and trans ideology and what it means to be a woman. He travels all across the country and interviews a therapist, a surgeon, a pediatrician, a gender studies professor, Congressman Mark Takano, and someone who thinks he's a wolf. And all other sorts of colorful characters. Wow. Matt, I doubt you're watching this, but if you are, kudos to you for subjecting yourself through all this torture. Anyway, the reason the first half of this movie is funny is because Matt doesn't even argue his position. He simply uses the Socratic method and asks these people a bunch of questions, and he lets them make fools of themselves. This allowed Matt to get his audience to see the incoherence in his opposition's views without having to explicitly tell them that they're wrong. Here are a couple of examples. What do you mean by assigned female? Who, who assigns female? Yeah, so um, most times people when they're born, um, they're assigned a gender. By the, the doctors. doctors. Yeah. Why, what, do they, what do they base that assignment on? So basically, it's it's based on genitalia. Um, so people looking at genitalia and deciding, okay, this is a, a girl or a boy. Those presumptuous bastards. This part I thought was hilarious. A perfect use of dissolved transitions. This shows how the left turns something so simple into something needlessly complicated. Check it out. We tend to think about in the social sciences today is that sex refers to a set of biological characteristics and gender is a social construct or category. What I think is often misleading about that characterization is allowed to be sort of messy and complicated. But in that framing, when you split them up into these wholly discrete constructs, study scholars, and, and really more specifically people who study gender and sex, we're not talking about sexuality right now. In the kind um, of academic universe that I travel in is that we see how deeply gendered ideas um, cultural ideas about masculinity um, and femininity, maleness and femaleness, both in humans and in lots of other animals. So are gender and sex two different things, or? This next one shows how completely and utterly oblivious these people are. I don't know if you've ever heard of people in the trans-abled community. These are people who are physically able-bodied but feel like they should be disabled or identify as such. Uh, for example, a man who has two arms, but feels like he should have one. If a, if a man in this kind of marginalized community was went to the doctor and said, I want to have my arm cut off, do you think that? That doesn't have anything to do with gender identity. Well, it's uh, so someone's, someone's self-identity, how someone identifies. That's, sounds, that's someone who has a, um, a, and I'll accept it as a mental diagnosis, a psychiatric condition. I don't even pretend to know what aptomenophilia is all about, but somehow it's the idea that you, you know, you're fascinated or charmed by having a limb or part of a limb missing. Mm -hmm. Okay, I would say that's, uh, pardon my non-medical language, kooky. You don't see any 
You think this is totally irrelevant? Yep. The thing that Matt is doing here is he's trying to get these people to look at this issue logically. And clearly, logic waved bye-bye to them a long time ago. Logic isn't going to work on them because they didn't arrive at their position as a result of strict logic. It's all about emotions and protecting people's feelings. Because in their eyes, feelings are more important than facts. Just take a look at how offended these relativists get when you say the word truth. Just trying to start by getting to the truth, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm really uncomfortable with that language of, like, g getting to the truth. Again, in social why, why life... Is that, why is that uncomfortable? Because that, it sounds actually deeply transphobic to me. Um, and if truth? You, and, and if you keep probing, we're going to stop the interview. I, if I probe about what the truth is? You keep invoking the word truth, which is condescending and rude. That's true to you can be can be false to me. So, like, it, it's, not, it's like... What if I said that it's true? My truth is that you don't exist. Does that mean you... You no longer exist? I mean, if that's your truth, sure. I don't. Because but, it's But like, you do. Well, I mean, if you're saying that I do, then I do. Well, but even if I said that you don't, you still do, because we're, we're having this conversation. I mean, are we? I think so. I mean, I thought- That's what you think. There is but one truth. If you avert your eyes from it, you will always remain nothing more than a puppet. In reality, in truth, okay? Whose truth are we talking about? The same truth that says we're sitting in this room right now, you and I. No. I think that blue hair dye must have seeped into her brain. Anyway, the second half of this documentary is more emotional and shows the serious negative consequences of the trans ideology. For example, they talk about Leah Thomas and how the trans female athletes have an undeniable biological advantage. Even one of Leah's teammates was interviewed saying how, yes, having Leah on the team gives us a huge advantage, but winning really doesn't mean anything because of it. Which is a great point. Nevertheless, she had to do the interview anonymously for fear of accusations of being transphobic. Anonymous for this interview. Why did you decide that you can't have your face out there saying these things? They've made it pretty clear that if you speak up about it and you say anything negative, that like your life will be over in some way. Like You'll be blasted all over the internet as a transphobe if you come out, and then you'll never be able to get a job. Like Anyone who wants to hire you will look you up and see you're transphobic and your life will be over. Then it got into the issue of biological men using the women's locker room controversy at a health club in Koreatown over the issue of gender. That's right. Video of spa goers complaining was posted on social media. I just want to be clear with you. It's okay. It's okay for a man to go into the women's section, show his penis around the other women, young little girls under age. Your spa, we spa, condone that. Is that what you're saying? Like I asked. It's so he, so he can stay there. He can stay there? What sexual orientation? I see a dick. Police identified the person involved as 52-year-old Darren Moreger of Riverside County. Moreger, who has been a registered sex offender since 2006, now faces five felony counts of indecent exposure. And do you see this children's book? Yes, a perfectly normal children's book. Check it out. Okay, it's perfectly normal for 10 years and up. Here's just one page I want you to see here. For 10 and up, huh? And the movie gets into the disturbing details of two of the men who are behind all this mess, namely Kinsey and John Money. Definitely check out the documentary for the sickening details on these two guys. So yes, this documentary had a nice mix of humorous questioning that exposed these people for the fools they are, but it also showed the negative consequences of trying to normalize the trans ideology. Anyway, back to the million dollar question. All of us with normal brain function know perfectly well what a woman is, an adult human female. But what do these people say a woman is? It's, it, for me, it's, it's actually a really simple answer, and that's a person who identifies as a woman. But what are they identifying as? As a woman. But, so what is that? As a woman. Do you know what a circular definition is? So then why have the word at all? By that line of thinking, the word is meaningless. It's as Matt says, it's a circular definition. If you can identify as a woman, but a woman in turn just means whatever you identify as, then why is there a word at all? In addition to that, they don't practice what they preach. Because if the word woman has no actual meaning, then why are there women's marches? Or how can you say you're for women's rights? None of those concepts would make any sense either if you can't define what a woman is. But yeah, like I said before, great documentary. I highly recommend giving it a watch if you're in the mood to watch Matt Walsh dominate the left-wing land of delusion. And until next time, I'm out. Can you define the word woman 
without using the word woman? And it's actually kind of like, it's a curious question, um, but I 